Um, my background was pretty good. Couldn't complain about a lot. Came from a two-parent home, a lot of support. Uh, my parents pushed me. They pushed me more into doing better in school than the actual football field, but they, it was about the same when it came to support on and off the field. They, uh, they raised me and pushed me hard on character too. So my background was, I can't really complain about it. I, I had a great support system from my parents and where I come from. What does it mean to you being able to see your parents go from, from watching you, supporting you through Little League, supporting you from, from at North Rowan all the way to now Virginia Tech? Oh man, it's, it's an exciting process, man. Uh, I remember my first year, third grade, actually being able to suit up and play football and then I just fell in love with it since then and then they've just had my support from Little League to middle school to high school, no matter what league, they supported me, but now just being able to, just being able for them to come see me and play in Lane Stadium, they smile every time we even talk about it. So it's, it's a great experience being able to be able to play here. He's the type of kid and that group he was in as a senior class that made coaching fun. There's nothing like it knowing that, you know, when you go out on Friday nights, you're going to get everything he's got. At the end of the game, uh, he's going to sit in the locker room for 45 minutes after the game just because he's drained. And uh, I think VTech got a, got a diamond in the rough there. I really do. What made you choose Virginia Tech to come play for Justin Fuente and Bud Foster? Um, the atmosphere. I remember my first time coming up here, uh, I came for a camp in July, and it was just the college town, just seeing the people walking, seeing them, you know, going out to walk their dogs, going out to eat. It's just a great place. It was just a home feeling when I first got here, and then when I came back, for a game, the, the, the fans were crazy. Was, the whole stadium just rocking and just the support. But um, I think what really got me other than the home feeling was the coaches. You know, uh, during the recruitment process, a lot of coaches are just gonna tell you what you wanna hear and they're gonna, you know, be all nice to you um, just to get you to that school. But I can honestly say Virginia Tech coaches, they came and told me what they needed from me, what they wanted from me and they were just truly honest with me and at the same time I look at them as uh, other guardians or parents that I can come and talk to about any problems that I have and at the same time they're going to treat me like parents or guardians and push me to new levels that I didn't even know I had. So uh, I felt like it was just the relationship between me and the coaches and me and Fuente and Coach Wiles and Coach Shebus is what really got me here. They hold family to, to a higher expectation what everybody else think. I mean, when you up early in the morning or and you up late at night studying, working hard, you always got your brothers there with you. Obviously, the expectations for Virginia Tech football here in 2017 are at an all-time high. We have a lot of big recruits coming in. What do you, what are your goals? What do you expect from yourself and for Virginia Tech football, what can you contribute to your team? Um, honestly, my goal is like every every other incoming freshman, uh, just being able to hop on board, learn quickly as possible, and get out there, being able to play and contribute to the team, and being and being able to be a factor that helps the team win. So, um, my goal is to keep just keep working hard. You know what I'm saying? Impress the coaches, impress the, uh, my teammates, and just get out there so I can be able to perform and do what I love to do. There's a saying at the end of the tunnel before you enter Lane Stadium that says, for those who have passed, for those to come, reach for excellence. What does that mean to you? Um, that simply means to me, as soon as you step in Blacksburg, strive. 
just strive. Um, no matter who's came through, no matter who's coming through, at this very moment when you're in Virginia Tech, you should strive for excellence because Virginia Tech is going to help you get to where you want to go. Either that's academically, mentally, or physically, and uh, student athletes, or honor, honor students and scholars. As soon as you step foot on Virginia Tech campus, you should want to work hard and each and every day you should want to get up being glad that you're a Hokie because just know the Hokie Nation is going to help you and support you no matter what you do. So every day is a day to strive for excellence. If there's any message you have from people back home, people in North Norway and people from Salisbury, what would it be? Um, Work hard, man. Overcome adversity. Don't let nobody tell tell you what you can and can't do. Um, for the people at North Rowan who's still there, who seen me graduate, y'all know it takes a lot of hard work. It takes more than just practice. It takes more than just summer workouts. You gotta be you gotta be dedicated. You know how good you are as a player. You know your limits and expectations and where you want to go. So just keep your head high and work hard and just perform. Do play the game that you love to play.